You never know what you're going to get when you lose everything. This Butte County man certainly realizes that, and he's found support not from a government agency or a nonprofit, but on the softball diamond. Yeah, baby! Senior softball has been a godsend for Robert Diltz and his wife. They were having a relaxing afternoon at their home in Cohasset when word of the park fire first reached them. We got a warning, evacuation on a fire down in uh, Bidwell Park. I was napping and the wife said, hey, there's a fire in Bidwell Park. I said, thanks. I went back to sleep. <laughs> I got up in 15 minutes and she said, now we have to evacuate. I was coming down in lower Cohasset and the fire was like 100, not even 100 yards from the road. And as I passed, uh, another 10 minutes, the fire had crossed the road and everybody behind me got stuck in, in Cohasset. His neighbors were rescued safely. The Dilts got out of Cohasset with very few things. We had about an hour to uh, get our stuff and uh, my brain's rushing with uh, what's the most important. And uh, I got, a, got some clothes, got some pictures, uh, a few records. Uh, this is great. This is great. Okay. Thanks. Not included his softball equipment, but fellow players have rallied around him in all sorts of ways. Anything that a person needs, this group of people that are behind me will do anything for, our, for anybody in the community. That's the kind of people they are, so they'll help him out. Softball is uh, my, uh, the best therapy uh, a retired person can have, man. I'm down here and nothing else comes in my mind except playing softball and uh, having fellowship with these, uh, these incredibly great guys. I'm so lucky and so fortunate to be with them. They, they've supported me all the way. Now, Robert isn't sure if they'll return to Cohasset, but he is sure they'll move forward, refusing to call losing their home a tragedy, but rather a new beginning and an opportunity to restart.